Greetings. I am Elder Elect Leah Moore of Victory Christian Ministries and Victorious Christian Fellowship International, where our very Reverend Bishop Roberta E. Moore is the presiding prelate. Victorious Christian Fellowship International is a fellowship comprised of ministries of like-minded faith, looking to build the portion of the kingdom that God has given us with souls who love God and who are willing to do his work for his glory. Today is day 15, y'all. Today is day 15. Can you believe it? Time is flying by so quickly. But that means, y'all know what I'm about to say, the work continues. Yes, today is 15, and that means the work continues. Let's have a brief recap of what we talked about yesterday. Yesterday we spoke about, go for it. You have everything you need to succeed. Go for it. Remember, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So if you have that power, that love, and that sound mind, you have everything you need to succeed. Today we will continue with point five, which is have a plan. Point five is have a plan. The Word of God has an answer to all of our questions. I promise you, if you open it and you ask God to lead you to the right scripture, the Word of God has an answer to all of our problems, to all of our questions. And in Proverbs chapter 21, verse 5, it says, The plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty, but those of everyone who is hasty surely to poverty. Once again, the plans of the diligent lead surely to plenty, but those of everyone who is hasty surely to poverty. It is important, as the Bible says, to write the vision and make it plain. Why? Because without a vision, the people perish. The same can be said for our willpower, our hopes, and our dreams if we just leave it as a dream and we don't write it down and put it into practice or put it into work then it's just a dream it's just a dream without having a vision a plan then then our willpower to do what we dreamt about it diminishes y'all Every day that we sit on that dream, our willpower to actually put it into practice diminishes. The breaking news for tonight is having something to look at will help you have something to look forward to. Once again, the breaking news for tonight is having something to look at will help you have something to look forward to. Write it down. Be held accountable to it. Leave a legacy. Leave evidence of what God said to you. Write it down. Write it down. Be held accountable to it. Once you have written it down, you are now held accountable to perform what you just read, wrote down. You have to put in the work for that. Leave a legacy. Leave a legacy. Don't leave your children and the future generation out there wondering how was she able to do that or how was he able to do that. Or, I feel led to do something similar, but how, how did they do that? Leave a legacy. Leave evidence of what God said to you. Listen to this, y'all. God took Moses on top of the mountain. God didn't just have Moses memorize the commandments. He didn't just sit there and say, all right, now what was number one that I said? What was number two? Okay, what? Uh, recite back all the uh, commandments I just gave you. No, he didn't just have him memorize it. He told him to write it down. Write it down. It made it impossible for the followers, for Israel to say, we didn't know that. We, we didn't see that. Nobody told us. No, it was written. So now we are all held accountable to it. Not only that, a legacy was left because of it. Now I know 
what the commandments are. And I know what is expected of me. And I can teach my children what is expected of children of God. They had access to see what God said. First, God gives it to us in our spirit. And we can see it in our mind's eye. Then we need to write it down so we can see it with our two eyes. Right? And then so that we can teach it to others. This is important, everyone. Have a plan. Your plan is a reminder to you of what God said. Your plan is evidence that God has spoken to you. Your plan gives you something to look forward to and something for your children to remember you by. Have a plan. Write it down. It is important. God doesn't just speak to us just to speak to us. He doesn't just give us great entrepreneurial ideas or ways in which to expand the kingdom of God or ways in which to help the less fortunate or ways in which to, um, to build up our confidence or to build up our um, knowledge of him. He doesn't just speak just to speak. He does everything in purpose and for a purpose. So if God took time out to speak to us, let us do the right thing. And the first thing that we should do is say, thank you, Lord, for speaking to me. And then write it down. Have a plan. It is important. We made up our minds on day 10 of this 40 days until it breaks, just five days ago, that we want to break the it that is trying to break us. Each point since then that God has given me is what's gonna help us to break the it that is trying to break us. You know, we keep saying it, I keep saying it, whatever you feed grows. So to break the it that is trying to break us, ignore it. And by having a plan and writing it down, you are putting your focus on something more positive, which means positivity will grow. You are putting your, your focus and your effort on what God said. So guess what? You are always going to be reminded of what God said. So what God said is going to grow in your head. And we're going to get to uh, quiet the sounds and the noises and the voices of the negativity. And then all of a sudden, you're going to wake up one day and just start quoting scripture and just start speaking positivity and feeling good on the inside. Because we're taking steps to break the it that is trying to break us. Having a plan is one of the steps. Work the steps and the steps will work. Once again, I am Elder Eli Leah Moore, or just Leah. That's what I call myself. <laughs> of Victory Christian Ministries and Victorious Christian Fellowship International, where the very Reverend Bishop Roberta E. Moore is the presiding prelate. Please stay tuned for all of the events that we have for you during our 40 Days Until It Breaks movement. Also, I am streaming each episode on YouTube. So if you know of someone who does not have Facebook but has YouTube, tell them look up Leah Moore, same name, same face, and they will be able to see every episode, even our 10th episode where we went live. They are able to see those as well. The pages to look out for is our Bishop Roberta Moore's page. She does our daily services from her page, Bishop Roberta Moore. It also streams from Victory Christian Ministries page. And we will be having special events from our ministry partners streaming from Victorious Christian Fellowship International's page. And last, your girl, Leah Moore. Every night at 8.30 p.m., you can watch Breaking News episodes. So if you haven't seen days 1 through days 14, after you watch this one, head on over to my page, Leah Moore, and take a look at those episodes. They are truly a blessing. And if there's anyone who requires prayer or who would like to be led to Christ, please hit me up in my comments. Leave your name, leave your information, and I will be honored to pray for you and to lead you to Christ the right way. Once again, I am Leah Moore. This has been your breaking news. I love you and good night.